Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Bardo. What I've got here is just going to be a quick video. Now it's based on a what I call a free draw clan castle. By saying it's a free draw, you can basically draw that however you want. Um, and that makes it weak for things like air attacks, mass hog attacks, uh, the old stink finger, all those kinds of things. Now you can see uh, that in this particular base there was two lots of um, side off air defences. Um, so we decided to go with a mass hog based attack. Now, being a free draw clan castle, you need to think of um, what's the best way of drawing it out. I always find on the first attack, you draw out with a minion first. What you want to do is you want to get what air troops are there. If you're using mass hogs, generally speaking, if it's a hound, the hogs can tank that. So that way, sometimes you don't necessarily want to be drawing out that hound. But you also need to have a certain kill order of how to kill these, uh, these, how to kill the CC and the troops. If it's a baby dragon in the clan castle with a witch, with a Valk, with wizards, killing that baby dragon first, generally speaking, is the priority. Depending on whether you've got a level five poison or a level three poison, that's going to determine whether the poison itself will kill the baby dragon at what time, what speed, and all those kinds of things. So you want to have on hand, you want to have minions, you want to have archers, and barbarians. People don't use barbarians enough. An archer at level 6, um, Town Hall 9, has 44 hit points. A barbarian has 110. Over double will take a lot longer for the archer tower to kill. So if you have a look here, this particular base, those archer towers in the second tier do not shoot so a barbarian is going to last twice as long, reducing the troop count for that clan castle. So let's have a look at how we've done this. It took three hits to get this base um, through a couple of areas. Now you can see a baby dragon drops down, draws out wizards, archers, bar and uh, didn't draw the Valk that was in there. It wasn't 30 troops bases. Now that gets drawn up the top with a minion. And that means that little Valk, she sits down the bottom there. So you're going to be getting, if, if you use a um, an, a ground troop, so an archer, the baby dragon's got a movement speed of 24. The Valk has, uh, sorry, of 20. The Valk has a speed of 24. So the Valk's going to get there in front first. And the Valk tanking for the baby dragon gives it the ability, gives it the extra strength. And that's what actually makes it a hard CC. So we have a look here. We put a poison down into a baby dragon kill so so far we've used with that archer that's to pull that valk up top the baby on baby that's working perfectly so we're looking at um so far 20 i think it was 26 odd unit spaces the cc is completely dead the baby dragon's alive and it's going to keep clearing out these heavy trash buildings so that's not bad that's a good use the baby dragons are all done that's all out, so it was uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, it was it was 26 odd with the minions. Um, let's have a look at the second way this was hit. Okay, so not every raid is successful. Sometimes you've got to analyze at the end of the war what happened, what went wrong. And we see now we start with that archer draw. So you need to have two archers there. I don't know whether he got the uh, Valk out. No, he didn't get the Valk out. You can see it was a little bit of a longer draw with those archers and the wizards. So that's actually not a bad thing. So you see up comes the baby dragon and the uh, poison's put down. Now, the, unfortunately, that baby dragon did shoot the Dark Elixir storage first, causing that baby dragon to die pretty quickly to the others. But what's happened? We haven't got the Valk out of the clan castle. So unfortunately, War Demons failed to draw that Valk. He goes in with the old stinky fingers. Where are we? He was going to get into it very quickly. Oh, he, there's something else happening in the raid. There was something else happening down the bottom of this raid. There's no need to analyse the whole raid. Just... The idea is these clan castles. Now, unfortunately, out comes that Valk. Um, actually, so no, he had drawn the Valk out with the archers, but didn't use that archer to draw it into the poison. Only used minions and the baby dragon. That's caused the raid. You see what the old redhead does to the old uh, hogaroos there. She just goes, hey, go on, gives them all a bit of a slap and tickle, and you can just see they're gone. Really unfortunate. You have a bit of a laugh and a giggle afterwards. This is war. This is what happens with these mistakes. And... Uh
and it's just about us learning. Now let's have a look at Stag here. Third hit, he got this base down down with the strat. You can see again uses that minion to draw. There was no need. Let's be using one Barbarian should have got the entire CC, saving you two unit spaces. With these kinds of attacks, it's not about you know one or two unit spaces, it's about the cumulative effect. So it gets into that, draws it up there nicely. Now, because the Valk's drawn up the top there, he'll move out of the poison, but he won't go away from the CC. So the baby dragon, once it's killed the rest of the CC that's that's closest to him, will kill the um, will kill the Valk afterwards. But if you go and drop your heroes down, the Valk's going to run off. The baby dragon's going to say, no, no, I want a bit of this action, and then get bored. So, um, yeah, that's one of those things. Now, what we'll talk about is we'll talk about one other decent way of doing it. So the reason you use those minions is if there's a, a witch in that clan castle, you're going to be drawing the witch over, not the skeleton troops. So you need to make sure that you put those archers to draw those into close by to the baby dragon. Now, what we can also do is we can just use archers in the poison effect. So we could have had, uh, let's draw out a, uh, where are we? Got my little drawing pen out. We could have had a poison in here somewhere and we could have just kept going archers. You put an archer there, put an archer there, put an archer there, put an archer there. Just one at a time, just keep those CC in the poison. And instead of using 24 unit spaces, we might only use 10. And then also, it's it's smoother. It keeps everything up there. You don't forget about drawing that Falk. You don't forget about drawing the skeletons from the witches, and it gets it done. This is something that um, I, I'm not a big fan of the free draw clan castles. I won't put them in any of my bases, Town Hall 9. Uh, I just think it's too problematic towards the raid because then it makes for a simple hit on the base with bulk hogs. Um, with lava loons that you don't need to worry about, all those kinds of things. So you can use air attacks. You see, I've, I've just uploaded another video the last couple of nights of um, a lava loon base attack where all you're doing is drawing out the air effect out of those, the air activated troops, and then you're going into it. So I think it's a core weakness for the base, but that's how when I try to talk to players, I try to explain with the simple kills. Why don't they get trust? Self-righteous